Now a News for Jack's I-Team investigation getting answers for hospital workers who say they are still not getting paid what they're owed. The problem started last month when the company that offers payroll services to three local hospitals was the victim of a ransomware attack. I-Team investigator Jennifer Waugh spoke with frustrated employees and local hospitals. Employees of UF Health tell me they don't understand why more is not being done to compensate them for the extra hours they are now working and work during the holiday. None wanted to talk with me on camera out of fear it could jeopardize their jobs, but here's what they tell me. One employee writes they are owed well over $1,000 in incentive pay for working overtime and during the holidays and says the hospital's fix, asking employees to fill out sheets manually, like this one, is not working. Their paycheck is still wrong. Another employee tells me when the paycheck problems are reported to their boss, their boss doesn't respond and has told them that they are not allowed to take pictures of their timesheet which the employee says is their only record of what they should be paid. Another frustrated worker tells us that they work here part time at UF Health and logged more than double the normal hours last month and have still not been paid for the extra hours. And when they went to upper management and human resources, they say they were told that until Kronos is up and running, the correction cannot be made. No one giving them any idea when that could be. I contacted UF Health. My request for an on-camera interview was turned down, but a spokesperson sent me this statement via email. The hospital is keeping track of all hours worked and is paying employees for all overtime, shift differentials, etc. as soon as possible. There might be delays in some of it, other than base pay, which the organization made sure to take care of immediately after the hack because timesheets are being done manually right now. But every employee is being paid at least base pay right now and will be paid for all hours worked. Bottom line, what is upsetting the employees we talked with is that they are already overwhelmed working during the pandemic and feel like no one is answering their questions and concerns or providing any sense of urgency now to get them the money that they earned. I contacted Kronos asking what it is doing to get the payroll system back up. A spokesperson with UKG, that's the company that operates Kronos Private Cloud, says this week it is starting phase one to check if any of its customers have any malware in their system, which could take several days. Phase two will be restoring service completely. The speed that happens depends, though, on the hospital's systems. But happening now, UF Health and other Kronos customers are being notified this week about a better timeline of when the pay payroll system is running again. Now, I did check with other hospitals in our area. Baptist Health and St. Vincent say they also use Kronos and are no now using alternate systems to keep track of employee hours. Baptist tells me it's making sure its workers are paid in full, saying a manual check for additional work hours can be cut upon team member and manager request. Now, if you work at one of these hospitals and you're concerned about your pay, we want to hear from you. Send me an email at jwaugh at wjxt.com. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station.